Welcome, one and all, to a series of epic proportions. I have fabled its arrival, and now we are finally here. This is a wonderful landmark for duelists everywhere, for this is the vibe-style Yu-Gi-Oh! progression playoffs. Me and two of my friends, Bennett and Steven, will be facing off head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head in duels utilizing decks created by our pure luck and heart of the cards, as we open each main series booster set in hopes to get the cards we need to rise above. After each set of duels, the winner will have the opportunity to spin a wheel of prizes to give them an upper hand in the next set. With some twists and turns along the way, the only question remains to be answered, is who will rise above and become our star duelist? Who will hold that title remains to be seen in the vibe style Yu-Gi-Oh! progression playoffs. So get ready duelists, because it's now or never. Alright, we're back here today. Before this next episode starts, we're going to be going over our what we're calling pity packs basically like i explained at the end of last episode every duel i lose like last episode i lost to steven i get three packs of the prior set of the set i lost in so in which case this is legend of the blue eyes like we went over so we're just going to open up three packs those add to my collection i can use them for the next episode so let's see what we can get i click you view card list i'm a failure <laughs> flip cards Laser Cannon Armor, Trial of Nightmare, Red Medicine, Machine Conversion Factory, Armored Starfish, Aqua Mador. That was a really big one on Steven's end, and will probably come in handy next set. I mean, that's a 2k defender normal set. Really good. Turtle Tiger, Green Phantom King, and Witty Phantom. Pretty good. Hitotsu Mi Giant, Dragon Treasure, Fire Yarrow, Tomb Out Dark Ruler, Monster Egg, a Celtic Guardian. I'm not sure how to feel about him. He's a good warrior for now, but he falls off real quick. We got Carbonala Warrior, Armored Starfish, and Yami. Also, Celtic Guardian does need help, because obviously Skull Redbird is already attacking over him off the bat. But say I put down the Field Spell. I already forgot its name. He gains 200 attack. Now he's over Skull Redbird. Equipped with my Crystal, he gains even more. Y you see, You see where I'm going with this. Come on, give me Raigeki. Raigeki and Monster Reborn, baby. Nope. Can I see my pack? Maneater, Silver Fang, Dark Energy, Violet Crystal, Frenzied Panda, Stop Defense. Ooh, Stop Defense pretty useful. Armored Starfish, Steel Ogre, Grotto number one, and Dark King of the Abyss. I need to check out Violet Crystal. I don't remember. Could only to a Zion Monster. Okay. This card's not treated as a Crystal card. I'm not sure what that means. Probably something with an Arc Tape later in. Well... So this is what I got for my pity packs. So I'll do a little slow scroll like I did last time. And I feel like stop defense is going to come in handy. Because I believe... Yeah, I can change face face down defense into attack position. I'm not sure if that activates flip effects. I'll have to research that. I'm assuming it does. It flips the monster. But it also will tell me what its defense is so I don't accidentally attack into it. And if it's something like the Aquamador, it has a lower attack than its defense. It means it'll be easier for me to knock over in my turn. Stop defense is really good. But, I mean, we'll just have to see what happens next time. Let's see what we draw. Alright, so, as y'all knew about last time, I got my prize kit. What this means, in case you didn't read the description or the card I showed up on the screen showing its information, I can choose... From our list here, one of these five items. The Summon Skull promotional card, which is just one Summon Skull. I'm not that enthusiastic about that. Star Deck Yugi, which as you can see, I took. Kaiba, Dark Duel Stories, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories promotional cards. Now, you're probably wondering, why Yugi? Well, Yugi, the card I get two cards from a starter deck. We can pick a starter deck two different times. We are allowed to pick the starter decks, and each time we can pick two cards out of the starter deck. I am picking Monster Reborn from Starter Deck Yugi. So we're going to add that. And then I'm going to be choosing Change of Heart. If I can get it. Now, it is in Metal Raider, so that, that it, it is in the next set. Yes. It's an Ultra Rare in the next set. So I'm assuring I get one, at least one. By getting it from Starter Deck Yuki. So let's get into our polls really quickly. Sorry to interrupt. Obviously, I just did the pity packs, but let's get into the polls. I'll see you shortly. Let's flip. Okay, Giant Soldier of Stone. That's useful. It's 2k defender. Hmm. 
Not useful, but oh well. Sometimes it's like that. And well, I'm happy to have a giant soldier of stone. I didn't get any power cards. I was hoping for power cards, but oh well. Alright, since I lost one game, I get three pity packs of the Legend of Blue Eyes. I'm hoping to get something high rarity, but I'm not expecting much. And nothing nothing really good here. Another Hane Hane is quite nice. And yeah, nothing useful here. Well, I'll save that to my collection and that's that. Alright everybody, welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! Progression Playoffs, the Vibe Mode. Vibe Plan. Don't remember what I called it. Vibe Style, we're vibing. We're here on the second pack, Metal Raiders. So, we're gonna open this pack, see what we can get. I'm not entirely positive. I don't remember what's in Metal Raiders. I just looked at it and I already forgot. I know Change of Heart, obviously I just went over that when getting the prize pick. Now, I also... That's about it. <laughs> Let's go with it. Let's see what we can get. We got Water Omotics. Uh, oh, we're getting more effects at least. Uh, Uguchi. What's Uguchi do? Your monster may attack your opponent's life points directly. Ooh, so <laughs> only 300 attack though. Gilsha the D Knight. Wing Dragon Guardian of the Fortress number one. We've got Big Eye. What's Big Eye do? Look up, look at up to five cards from the top of your deck to place them. Ooh, so it's good for stacking my deck in my favor. Germ Infection, which is the attack of a non-machine type monster equipped with this card, is decreased by three hundred points at each of its standby phases. So if I equip that to an opponent, that's good. Launcher Spider is really good, but he's also a two tribute monster. I'll just stick with the Blue Eyes now, and the Dark Magician. They're better. Mornifin, he's okay. Dark Elf, what is your effect? This card requires a cost of 1,000 of your own life points to attack. That is... Could be good, could be bad. Who knows? We'll see how things play. I'll probably side deck it. Another Uguchi. Tremendous Fire, which is... Don't tell me that's more... 1,000 points of damage to your life points and 500 to your own. So it's just more burning! <laughs> Yado Karu. Battle Steer. We've got Cyber Source. Seven Tools of the Bandit. That is a really good card. It just it just literally i pay a thousand life points to negate a trap that can be really handy another dark elf a harpy lady armored lizard nope don't view card list flip cards the immortal of thunder what's his flip effect increase your life points by three thousand points when this card is sent from your field or graveyard you lose five thousand life points that could happen without him ever flipping oh giga tech wolf the Cheerful Coffin. Dark Elf again. I got three Dark Elves already. In the first three packs. Oh my. What happened to Rare? We got Crass Clown. Musician King. And the Little Swordsman of Ale. We're going for Electric Lizard. Seven Colored Fish. Doma the Angel of Silence. Cyrosaurus. Empress Judge. Princess of Sarugi. A Flip Effect. With 900 attack, 700 defense, inflict 500 damage to your opponent for each spell and trap on your opponent's side of the field. That's situational right now. Not very likely it'll come into use, but it's a good thing to side deck. Water Omotics, Pump King the King of Ghosts, and Baby Dragon. Okay. Empress Judge, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts, Ryukishin Powered, Protector of the Throne. Swamp Battle Guard. Gate Guardian. Ah. I don't think I'm using him anytime soon. Fake Trap. Activate only when your opponent activates a spell trap or effect monster's effect that would destroy a trap cards you control. Destroy this card instead. If the cards that would have been destroyed are face up or face down, you can look at them to confirm. Okay. Big Eye and Roaring Ocean Snake. Larvae Moth. Mystic Horseman, Crawling Dragon, Killer Needle. These are some good stats, honestly. Uguchi Starboy. It's another rare. What's it gonna do? As long as this card remains faceful on the field, increase the attack of all water monsters by 500 points and decrease the attack of all fire monsters by 400. Okay. 
Rabbit Horseman, Water Omotix, and Yado Karu. Niwatori, Trent, Rabbit Horseman, Illusionist Faceless Mage, Guardian of the Labyrinth, Heavy Storm, that's pretty useful, Shadow Ghoul, Skull Knight, and the Bistro Butcher. What is Shadow Ghoul's effect? Gains 100 attack for each monster in my graveyard. So that's really good if I start burning through a bunch of defenses. I can get him out really powerful. Lagul, Guardian of the Labyrinth, Saggy the Dark Clown, The Castle of Dark Illusions, Share the Pain, Starboy, Paralyzing Potion, Lava Battle Guard, and Big Eye. Tainted Wisdom, The Immortal of Thunder, Steel Scorpion, Tremendous Fire, Mushroom Man number 2, Starboy, Paralyzing Potion, The Cheerful Coffin, and Niwatori. The Immortal of Thunder, Crawling Dragon, Deep Sea Shark, Big Eye, Skull Knight, Princess of Sarugi again, Paralyzing Potion, Destroyer Golem, and Leogun. Leogun's pretty, ooh, but he's level 5, he's not pretty good anymore. Alright, what do we got? We got Ground Attacker, Bugroth, Destroyer Golem, The Cheerful Coffin, Tainted Wisdom, Tremendous Fire, Blade Fly, Tribute to the Doomed, Blue Winged Crown, and Ryukishin Power. What is Blade Fly? As long as this card remains face upon the field, increase the attack of all wind monsters by 500 points and decrease the attack of all earth monsters by 400. Okay, not too terrible. Baby Dragon, a Mushroom Man number 2, Uguchi. Jellyfish, Mystic Lamp, a Sandgan. That's a good one. Crass Clown, Kojikoki, the Cheerful Coffin. What's next? Hit it, Destroyer Golem, another Baby Dragon, Tainted Wisdom, Block Attack. So now I've got Stop Defense and Block Attack, because if you watch my Pity Packs, I did get a Stop Defense. That's the last card from The Legend of Blue Eyes. Illusionist Faceless Mage, Launcher Spider, Galicia, Ring of Magnetism, and Mask of Darkness. Target one trap in your graveyard. Add that target to your hand. Not that's a pretty good flip effect, actually. Cybersaurus, Yado Karu, Doma the Angel of Silence, Electric Lizard, Launcher Spider, another Mask of Darkness, Protector of the Throne, Kojikoki, and Bottom Dweller. Ancient Brain, Battle Steer, Jirai Gumo, Launcher Spider, Legul. Witch's Apprentice, Hayo Subi, Dream Clown, and Guardian of the Labyrinth. Paralyzing Potion, Kojikoki, Hayo Subi, Yado Karu, Gazelle the King of Mythical Beasts, Masked Sorcerer, Lava Battle Guard, Mushroom Man number 2, and Tremendous Fire. Jirai Gumo, Pump King, Kojikoki, Blast Juggler, Launcher Spider, Another Elf, Ground Attacker, Bugroth, Germ Infection, and Cybersaurus. So as long as they're not running monster decks, Germ Infection's a pretty good card to have in. Armored Zombie, The Immortal of Thunder, Rainbow Flower, Battle Steer, Giga Tech Wolf, another Mask of Darkness, Seven Colored Fish, another Block Attack, and Ancient Elf. Blast Juggler, Jirai Gumo, Flame Cerberus, Guardian of the Labyrinth, Tainted Wisdom, Shield and Sword, Trent Hibikami, and Crawling Dragon. Hibikami, Rainbow Flower, Petite Moth, Castle of Dark Illusions, Tainted Wisdom, a Karibo, Muka Muka, Seven Colored Fish, and the Bistro Butcher. Hibikimi, Hi Hibikimi, Cybersaurus, Pump King, Kojikoki, Yado Karu, Cannon Soldier, Oku Beam, Paralyzing Potion, and the Sword of Deep Seated. Ish. Ancient Brain, King of Yamaki, Ground Attacker Bugroth, Roaring Ocean Snake, Oguchi, White Magical Hat, Kojikoki, Steel Scorpion, and Harpy Lady. Prevent Rat, Rock Ogre Grotto number one, Ancient Lizard Warrior, Kojikoki, Mushroom Man number two, Witch's Apprentice, Flame Cerberus, Lagool, and Mystic Horseman. And final pack, it's really making me struggle. Trent, Armored Lizard, Stimpak, Pale Beast, Hayo Sube, Elegant Egotist, Ancient Lizard Warrior, Killer Needle, and finally, Swamp Battle Card. Now, just like last time, I'm going to add these to my collection, take the time to work through it, and make a deck, and I'll see y'all guys on the other side. I'll be right back. Alright, so, going into this, I finally built this deck. This actually took a while to think through, 
we had effects now as well as different monsters I had to work with, spells, stuff like that. As you can see, I got a lot more of a diverse deck. Still don't have any traps. I'm not pulling traps, and it's really upsetting. Like, more 7 tools would have been great. But let's see here. So, obviously, I'm still running Blue Eyes and Dark Magician. Great beaters. Typically, they can be a game winner. The King of Yami Makai. I've got him because he's just a 1 tribute 2k attacker. That's pretty good. Similar reason with the Illusionist Faceless Mage. I'm running two of them because they're a 1 tribute 2200 defender. Really good blocker can get me quickly into a Dark Magician or a Blue Eyes White Dragon because that, of that high defense. Then I'm getting into my lower level monsters. We got Ryu Kishin Powered. I've got two of him because he's just a 1600 attack monster. He's a fiend, which works well with the dark energies I'm running now, allowing him to get up to 1900 attack on a normal summon. Possibly more if I equip him with the Sword of, De Sword of Deep Seated, which adds another 500, putting him at 2400. Almost a Dark Magician Power. But moving on, we have cr two Crass Clowns, which is when he changed from defense to attack position, I can return a monster on my opponent's side of the field to their hand. So, so long as I can control his field as well as possible, Crass Clown will be great. As Especially if they have set. Because if they need monsters set up to tribute into big things to be able to take him down easily over what I have, that's really good. Plus, I've got my Swords of Revealing Light that can give me Crass Clown enough time to pop at least one, maybe two of his monsters back to hand. Two Witty Phantoms, just 1400, 1300, 4 star. Dark Elf. Those I think I'm going to use more for the 2000 defense that that attack can provide. Because if I summon it in attack position and I don't attack, what are the odds they can hit over it? It's like a 2000 defense monster, except for if they do hit over it, I take life point damage. That's it. The Bistro Butcherer, I have one of him. When he inflicts battle damage from my opponent's life points, they draw two cards from their deck. That is an unfortunate thing, but he's also 1800 attack. And that's why I'm only wearing one is his effect. That can also help me to deck them out quickly, because he obviously they're probably running a 40 card deck as well. Cannon Soldier, I contribute a monster and inflict 500 damage to my opponent. Already a really good effect, plus it's a 1400 attack, 1300 defense. 4 star. Big Eye. Two of them, because they're I can set them at level, or because they're level 4. Flip effect, look at up to 5 cards from the top of the deck and place them on top in any order, so I can rig my deck to give me what I want. Sangan. It's Sangan. You can read its effect. I think it's obvious why I'm running a Sand Gant. I mean, especially with, like, he's got less than 1,500, less than 1,500. Less than 1,500. Less than 1,500. Yeah. Less than 1,500. The Mask of Darkness. Target one trap in the graveyard, add it to hand. That can target seven tools, trap hole, or two-pronged attack. I've also got a Witch's Apprentice. As long as it remains faithful on the field, all my dark monsters, like Dark Magician... And Illusionist Faceless Mage and Ryukishin Crass Clown. I have a lot of Dark Monsters here, as you can see. Gain 500 attack. And the Light Monsters that my enemy has. Unfortunately, Blue Eyes is a Light Monster, but it is what it is. He'll probably not be out at the same time. If they have any Light Monsters on the field, they lose 400 attack. Hane Hane. Kind of obvious still. Karibo. If my opponent declares an attack... I can make sure, or I can discard him to make sure I take no battle damage. That is a great defense card. Jirai Gumo. When he declares an attack, I toss a coin. If I call it correctly, heads, tails. I get the attack off without a hitch. If I call it wrong, the attack still goes through, but I do lose half of my present life points. That can be a risk reward, but it's also a 2200 attack normal summon. Great defender, just like Dark Elf. In, in a, in a, Struggle in case I can attack with him, or if I'm confident. Mass Sorcerer, when he inflicts battle damage to my opponent, I draw a card. The opposite of the Bistro Butcher. And though he does only have 900 attack, I can use him and it, the rest of my field for setup. Dark Energy, a Fiend-type monster equipped to that gains 300 attack and defense. Good. Sort of deep-seated, 500 attack and defense, and if it gets destroyed, it just goes on top of my deck. It doesn't go away. They can, of course, use that to stall me out. By just preventing me getting monsters. But so long as all goes well. I mean you see the large quantity of monsters. I'm likely going to have a monster in hand. Then the sword is okay. Plus I just don't play at that point. They just skip a turn. They get a good attack on me. Block attack. I make a face up attack position monster into defense. This can allow me to hit over big attack monsters. Like let's say they had a dark elf on the field protecting them. I block attack. Now it's an 800 defense. I can take it down. 
Stop defense, same reason, but the opposite direction. Say they had the Illusionist Faceless Mage. I put it to attack. Easy takedown. 18 or only 1200 attack. Sword and Shield. Does kind of the same thing, except for it actually swaps the stats of mine as well. And keeps them in the same position, so it keeps an attack and attack position with its defense stats. You get the idea. Yami, just in case, like with spellcasters like Dark Elf, Dark Magician, I can boost them. Dark Hole, obvious. Pot of Greed did get limited this set, unfortunately. I drew four pots of greed. I, I personally, I'm aiming for a banless lock so I can get it back up to three, because I know the others. The most one of them got was two. And I think one of them got one. So if I get it to three, I have the advantage there for now, unless they draw more down the line. Swords of Revealing Light. It's a stall card. Monster Reborn. Obviously, it's a Monster Reborn. Share the Pain. Tribute one monster. Make your opponent tribute one monster for no effect. Seven Tools of the Bandit. Already went over this when I drew it. A thousand life points. I negate the activation of Trap Card and destroy it. Trap Hole. And two prime attack. I've been over that. Just hit me that I forgot a card. Where am I going to put Change of Heart? Let's swap block attack for one. And I'll put my second block attack in the side deck. Now going over the side deck, you'll see I'm a lot less monster heavy in the side deck. I'm confident in my deck. This is more of, do I want more burn cards? Because we got the two remove traps just in case they have something useful. We've got our three Hinotamas, two Tremendous Fires, two Sparks, a Final Flame, and now the block attack. I personally think this deck is really good, and I think I'm going to take the win here. I think I can beat both of them. So let's see how it goes. I'll see y'all when we get to the dueling field. All right, we're opening up the second set. This time it is Metal Raiders. We have a lot of good pieces in Metal Raiders. I mean, a lot of power spells, just like Legend of Blue Eyes. That's not the super rare you want to see. That is a bad card. Really not the super rare you want to see. Bad start. Fake Trap. Not great. Seven card fish. Want three of it. It's an 1800 attacker. Love to see it. Dry Gumo. Also a great card. Probably going to get three of them. You're going to be happy about it. Muka Muka. Niche. Paralyzing Potion. Is wonderful. Yes. Blue and Crown might be able to be played because it's a 1600 Wing Beast, but probably not. Sort of Deep Seated is another good card. Prevent Rats, another 2k Defender if that comes up. Musician King, that is very good for later in Instant Fusions because it's a Spellcaster specifically. Uh, thing here's all the important Trigumo is the thing, I guess. Hmm. Mask of Darkness, quite good if you have good traps. Don't really have any and don't really have any good traps at the moment but hey we can get the good traps another fake trap meh dark clown dream clown we could go for clown control if we want to oh you know what that does later on <laughs> Unfortunately, not really viable at the moment, but that is pre errata, mind you. We are going by the errata of the time. Block attack. Love block attack. Mess up the uh, Dark Magician, Blue Eyes, all of them. Great card to see. Another Paralyzing Potion. That is removal in a lot of situations. Another Dream Clown. Not, not the secret rare that you're really happy to see after all metal raiders is just bad secret rares in all honesty i haven't really gotten anything crazy like in high rarity faith is very important especially since i have some well i can't re-roll this magician of faith heavy storm some of the good stuff there is some metal raider stuff i'm not getting yet like sangan and witch that are very important hoping to get at least one of those Another Robin Goblin play set of Paralyzing. Happy to see it. Sangan. Whew. Another sword. Sangan is very important. Another Magician of Faith. Want, definitely want a play set of that. 
go here. Another prevent rat, probably getting a full set. Stim pack is actually quite good for the time. It's a lot of. It's a way to get over a lot of things with little monsters. Hmm. Don't need another paralyzing potion. I think that's my third or fourth musician king and third or fourth uh, dream clown. Not the greatest. Hmm. Nothing really here. Try Gumo, but I think I already have a playset. Another seven colored fish. I think that's my third one. Hopefully it's quite good. If it is, I love having three of that. Twin Hunted Thunder Dragon actually comes. I could. Are the Thunder Dragons in this set? They could be. Yes, they're short printed though. I hope I get them because that would be very interesting to play. I only have a few sets to a second Sangan. I hope I get a witch, but Sangan is definitely powerful. You know the pain. Yeah. Cannon Soldier. You know, if having Catapult Soldier wasn't good enough. Oh. I'm not re-rolling this, that's for sure. Oh boy, this is the Degenerate Pulse. I didn't get a lot of the power cards, like, uh... Mirror Force, Horn of Heaven, Tools, Solemn, Change of Heart, Summon Skull, things like that. But just getting Heavy Storm to counter a lot of that. Twin Thunder is good, but ugh. That's rude with the Catapult Turtle. Couple Magician of Faiths. I didn't get a, a Witch, but I did get two Sangan, which is good for now. Although Sangan does eventually get hit on the ban list. I would rather have had one of each. But hey, Sangan is very good. I don't think I can afford to reroll this. My pulls were too good. So I will save this draft to collection. And I will see you in the deck building. Alright, after looking at the packs and referring to the ban list, as this is the first ban list, although nothing's banned yet, it does, the only effect it has on me right now is the limited pot of greed. With what we pulled, I'm still running the three Hane Hane. I'm trying a bit of a little Dream Crown at Dream Clown with a bit of Crass Clown. If I only had one than Crass, Crass Clown, I would have been running a more even distribution otherwise. Because Crass Clown is a bit better here. Spell Traps just... Well, actually, monster. Oh, never mind. I'm a fool. I'm misreading them. They're both monsters. Dream Clown's a bit better then. Grass Clown has better stats. That's the trade off. Dragumo is just generally good at this point. Even as you cut your life points in half, that can never be what kills you. Magician of Faith is Magician of Faith. It's not on the ban list yet. You always play. Especially with cards like Regeki, Dark Pole, Pot of Greed, Heavy Storm. It's fantastic. I am playing a share of the pain as it is just good removal. Definitely cheaper than two pronged attack. I still have that in my sideboard, along with uh, a few other things like stim pack, dragon support, which I need to a chunk of dragon stuff in my sideboard mainly. So I can side into the. That's a winged beast. Probably won't come up then. But it would at least still boost my Curse of Dragon. Not much else, though. I do have two Sand Gans. Unfortunately, that will be limited soon after this. Seven Colored Fish. Pulling three of that is very good. More Defenders and Prevent Rat. Castle of Dark Illusions. Although that one does lose to the Curse of Dragon that I know Bennett has. Hopefully I can counter that with three Paralyzing Potions. And if people Paralyzing Potion me, getting the Heavy Storm can revitalize my board. With those. Swarm Deep Seated is just fantastic. It's 500 attack to any monster, and if it does get heavy stormed, I can at least put it on another monster, even if it hurts to lose my draw the next turn. Robin Goblin, if I don't like it, I can side it out, but to me, it seemed just as a way to, just a good way to control their hand, get rid of resources if they're trying to tribute summon something. Uh, yeah, against Todd, I'll probably have to side in block attack to like hit it on a Dark Magician, and then I can attack it with Curse of Dragon if it's buffed with something. Not really optimal, but you gotta do what you gotta do. If it comes up, Dragon Capture Jar is still on my side against Pod specifically, just in case he does Blue Eyes shenanigans. One thing of note is that we do actually get promos at some point. 
Our first promo is after Pharaoh's Servant, so that's not coming up yet. But, I believe this deck should do me well. I have the extra deck because I like having the extra deck. I did pull Twin Hit Thunder Dragon, but no Thunder Dragons, unfortunately. As well as we don't have the actual ways to fuse them yet, I did not pull Polymerization. I believe this should do pretty well. I will see y'all when I duel, or when I spectate. Okay, seeing as I did just get one at the end of the last episode, I am going to be a little greedy and spend a reroll on this. Jirai Kumo already, okay. A second one and a paralyzing potion. Like, these are commons, but they're not very guaranteed. Dark Elf is quite nice. Time Wizard. Okay, that's really funny. I could play that. Magician of Faith. Really nice pickup. And Tremendous Fire is playable. A Sangan. Okay. At least one more Witch, and I think... I pretty much made back what I could want. Robin Goblin. That's... Yeah, that's quite playable. Harpy Lady Sisters. Not very good for us. Crass Clown and Thunder Dragon. Don't know if I've missed any of those. Seeker Rare Thousand Dragon. That's not being played. Not seeing a Horn of Heaven. That's okay. It's good enough by our sanity. Second Crass Clown. The Solemn Judgment! Oh, that's really good. Let's see. Uh, Jiragumo, in case I don't have a place set. Fake Trap. As I said, it's niche. We've lost a Heavy Storm and a Witch, but we did gain... Solemn Judgments and a Time Wizard. I think I'm going to keep this this time. Okay, so here's my deck for this episode. It's not that good, but it's a it's better off than it was last episode. For the new additions from this, we got Jirai Gumo, the Crass Clowns, Magician Face, Sangin, and Time Wizard. As well as, for my Fiend support, King of Yami Makai is my new tribute. And Ryukishin Powered is just a baseline 1600. I still got my supports and Dark Energy and Yami. And my only trap, my Solemn Judgment. And I have a Horn of the Heaven in the side in case it comes up. But I'm not expecting to have to go into any of these cards. Well, that's it. Not much to go over. All right, so it's time to duel for Metal Raiders. This time we're starting off with Bennett as opposed to the announcer himself. All right. Uh, Let's see what he's got. You, Dang it. you have sabotaged me for the last time. Dang it. Paper gang all the way. Paper gang is for paper losers. Okay. Both okay. players draw five cards. I don't know why I, I don't know why I keep showcasing off whatever I'm drinking. Last time I showed off the Liquid Death, now I got a Pepsi. Alright. Oh, 100% it's good. He's just weird. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna, that is not a card. That's 
I, I was trying to play the card next to it, <laughs> and I didn't well, realize I was hovering on the wrong card. You. It's okay, me too. Um, now we're gonna monster reborn that onto my field. Okay. And tribute summon. Or actually, I'm gonna tribute set this. Okay. Mm. Interesting. And end turn. Fan by main. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna become a drink review channel with this. I mean, battle. Flip. I'll call heads. Unfortunate. Haha. -ha. And you don't destroy my monster. The illusionist faceless mage. Anyway. I mean, yeah, it's a 2200 defense tribute. You failure. All right. Change of heart. Uh Battle phase, attack directly. We're gonna go with heads. Woo, baby! Main phase two, tribute set. You don't get monsters, they're all mine. I'll just set one. Huh. This is so stupid, it just might work. I'm gonna normal summon Hane Hane. Okay. And activate Share the Pain, tributing my Hane Hane to, tri to make you tribute a monster. With no effect. Okay. Flip summon Illusionist Faceless Mage. I'll take 1200. Attack directly. Main phase 2. Ah, dang it. In turn. I could not activate. I think you know what card is in my hand right now. I'll normal summon the Widow <laughs> Unfortunately. Phantom. No! Battle? You weren't supposed to! <laughs> I wasn't supposed to what? Have a summon? I, I was gonna use block attack on him, but I didn't realize you said your opponent controls. The whole plan uh, failed. Luckily enough, I have Dark Elf. Uh, oh. I'm going to Solemn Judgment. That you got Solemn Judgment? <laughs> yep. What? <laughs> For the low, low cost of 300. And now I'll run out my skull. My my skull redbird. Thank you, Dueling Book. Imagine running skull redbird. Listen, I didn't have much to replace it. <laughs> we with. have effect Look monsters now, card. man. He is running actually just terrible cards. Still. Shut up! We're gonna normal summon the Bistro Butcherer. And we're gonna... That wasn't lethal. Yes, yes it, it was. was. I was on 300. Oh yeah, I forgot you took half your life points. I was about to block attack the Skull Redbird and attack over it. What? So it wasn't going to... Because I didn't want him... I figured... I thought he'd survive whatever attack I did, so I didn't want him to draw two cards from Bistro's effect. Oh. I was gonna try and whittle down his monsters to where I could get it lethal. Alright, I, I think I'd like to go second. Shockingly. Wow, who does have seen that one coming? Well, you seem to want to go first last time, man. No, I didn't. Uh, T set pass. Uh, no, a set back row. <laughs> oh no! What do we do? Yami. Oh no! Summon the witty phantom. Oh no! <laughs> Battle. You don't have enough, you fool. Gosh dang it. They're so both beans! <laughs> Um, also, that monster's actually in your hand. Yeah. Um. We're then going to... Normal summon Ryu Kishin Powered. So this is... Attacking directly with both of them. And 1800. Ending my turn. Oh, uh, joke's on you, actually. I'm not gonna have my turn. I'm gonna see someone... <laughs> Standby Out of my totally present extra deck? With totally available Xyz monsters? No, you link summon to uh No, okay. we don't have link monsters yet. Make verte. Nice song. I'm going to normal summon the witty phantom back. 
battle, I'm gonna hack over your clown for 50. Oh my god, you actually can. Because <laughs> you, you had 50 less, god dang. Yes. Oh boy, I'm at my 79.50. Gotta love it. Alright, so... I think that the move here is clear. Normal summon Dark Elf. Okay. Battle phase. Attack for 400 yeah. life point damage. And then attack directly. With... Oh, yeah, they're both fiends. And then yeah. 2200 directly, pay paying 1000 to do the attack. I know my monsters affect my man. Alright, I'm going to monster reborn my Oh, you phantom. disgrace. Give me this tribute. Tribute song. Wow. King of Yami Makai. <gasps> you wouldn't dare. And I'll equip him with dark energy. <laughs> Battle, attack over Ryukishin powered. Alright, he's at 1800, you're at 2500, so I take 700. Let's put the dip. Roll the person with Mystic Mind Sleeves, lose. <laughs> we can only hope. I activate Shield and Sword. Okay, so you're at a thou- I Tribute uh, Summon. Okay, I'm at- Oh wait, dang, I did that in the wrong order. I should've Tribute Summon first. I should've Tribute Summon first. That was actually which is wrong. Oh That's no. Unfortunate. This is not good. Oh well. I, I probably- I realized that afterwards and probably could've just set him. But I proceeded to do it wrong. I really didn't think that move through. And I regret a lot. He's got 1400, so I take 1100. You're gonna, you gonna have your guy be destroyed? Oh, yeah! It doesn't do it automatically! And I'll pass. Aha! My one pot of greed! Yep, recently limited. Unfortunately. All right. Um, shoot. Somebody shoot. I'm gonna shoot your face. No, thank you. Um, okay. I'm gonna monster reborn. Okay. To get out the faceless mage in defense. Okay. I will then be setting a monster and ending my turn. Damn, I have to find it out. Main phase. I'm going to flip summon Magician of Faith to add back my monster reborn. And I'm going to use it on your crass clown. Okay. Battle, I'm gonna attack over your sack card. Dang, bro. That's wild. Cannon soldier? <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, he's, he's useful for, like, a lethal hit. Anyways, uh, pass. Alright. I'm gonna tribute summon for my own King of Yami Maki Maka. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, he is 300 attack weaker than yours. Yeah. But I'm going to attack over my crash button, so you can't use this effect. All right. And enter. So you had the lethal there, by the way. No. Magician, Magician of, faith of Faith is at 100. Uh, it's a spellcaster. Oh, no, it's, it's a spellcaster. Spell it was a fairy. Yeah, no, it's a magician. Uh, magician be a fairy. <laughs> it's a magician, man. Uh, I saw the light. Gonna be honest. Like all the. I was so dumbfounded. I'm like, I didn't have lethal. I thought all of that through. 
all the early spellcasters were dark. So. Not here. I'm gonna set one. Battle. You fool, you had lethal, didn't you know? And even if she was at 100, I have 2200 attack. <laughs> oh, wait, yeah. That was just never lethal. No, even in your oh. view, that wasn't lethal. <laughs> just shut up. Alright, get rid of all your monsters. Well, that's rude. Correct. Anyways. Oh. Yeah, I drew that or else I would have used the last turn. Come on now. <laughs> Normal summon. I wouldn't have let you get that attack out. The, the Abyss. Dang, bro, that's Back wild. Oh, wait, 14. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about Yami. Alright. Just don't draw anything good. I got Ryukishin, actually. That's something good. It is, though! Take 400. Down to 1850. Shush your head, announcer. But I am the announcer. I'm, I'm gonna announce you life, in a minute here. Not able to announce. You! I have been announced. I'm going to get rid of my field spell. To set no! Spell. How could you? And then... I relied on that, Yami. Alright, we're gonna stop defense your monster. That's unfortunate. It's an attack. There you go. I know. And then we're gonna crash Clown. Allowing this to be a lethal attack. It's unfortunate. Let's go, baby! Is my master. Normal summon Ryukishin power. Okay. Equip with dark energy. Mm. Off the bat. It's a nice 1900 guy right there. Mm -hmm. Out him. Uh, sorry, I had my webcam delayed. It's on now. Your mom. Hmm. Just, just out him. Oh, uh, go ahead, out him. I have many ways out him in my hand right now. N no, you don't. No, he doesn't. Don't tell me that. Ooh, what's he that? Does, 1900, guys. you said? Yeah. yeah just don't tell uh, me that. I am going to... He's got that 1900 attack Ryukishin power. What will Fergora do to stop out. this? Ooh, and he plays a dark hole from his hand, dropping Dude, him down to five cards off? in hand. <laughs> I appreciate the... <laughs> the speech. Okay, but I'm not... I, I have not been certified in announcing. And Therefore, I am not legally permitted to do that. Yes, but just break the law. No, I don't want to. No, okay. Uh, skull Red Bird. <laughs> okay. Take 450. I'm still running my 2k defenders. Just like Bennett is. I mean, yeah. I'm not. Okay. I'm going to normal summon Dream Clown and then equip All it right. with Sword of Deep Seated. Okay. Making it 1700 attack. Battle phase, I attack over your Skull Red Bird. Sort of deep seated. You can negate uh -huh. his next draw if you're smart. But can he play, make this play work? Everyone's watching. Eager it's not really negating my next draw so much as making sure my next draw is a good equip spell. It's a negate. I say you can prevent your next draw. I might have said that. That is unfortunate. That is really unfortunate. Yeah. I uh, destroy that monster. That is doing great right now, man. I do not think Ben is doing great. Hmm. And it is attack and defense, so that is actually okay defensively. It's a 1400. It is okay, he says. Hmm. Now see, it would have been better to have just attacked. Well, I didn't know what his defense was. Just have stop defense. That was me being safe. <laughs> I'm going to end my turn. Just here. pull stop defense. Go red bird. All right, that does attack over it. And that goes to the top of deck. Yes, it does. And that's it. <laughs> All right. I I'm wonder what he drew. Flip summon Crass Clown. Uh oh. I'm going to activate Sword of Deep Seated. Uh -oh, He's I'm got 1850 going attack. To set a card and enter battle phase. Attack directly for 1850. Your turn, duelist. Bro, how do you know he's a duelist? Because he is dueling. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. I'm going to... 
Hmm. I will normal summon Sangan. And enter battle. I will attempt to attack over your set card with my 1850 Caress Clown. You get your dark energy back. Yeah. I'll attack directly for 1000. Your turn. Okay. I'm, I feel bad for Bennett this set, bro. I'm getting Normal bullied. Summon the witty phantom. <laughs> Activate Yami. Activate dark energy. That makes him 1900. Uh, Crass Clown is affected by Yami, by the way. Yes, yeah, sir. Crass Clown. What? Wait. Um, <laughs> sorry, I forgot about the equip spell. I will I allow you to not do that. <laughs> Literally um, trying to say that he can't do it. Attacks anyways. Right. So the same yeah, man's yeah, a 1200, just, and that is yeah, a... Sir. 19, so I take 700. And I get I my just search. Completely forgotten about that. 1500 or less attack. I'm going to add to my hand. Hmm. I'm going to give myself a Magician of Faith. Okay. That's all I can do. My turn. I'm going to equip Sword of Deep Seated to my uh, Crass Clown. I hate you. You should. That's I'm another to... 500. That is a 2,550 Crass Clown. Beats out Dark Magician, even. Mm hmm. I'm I think Blue Eyes to... is the only monster we have that beats it. Attack over your witty fan. <laughs> that we have access to. So I take 650. The legendary crass clown of legend. <laughs> that clown power, yeah, baby. Legendary Not of legend. true. We technically have a monster from this set that beats it out. Oh. The 2800. What monster? Yeah, no, I'm talking about Gate Guardian, sir. Gate oh, Guardian, true. baby! <laughs> I'm going to end my turn. Please tell me what I'm using on someone a Gate Guardian. I know you have outs to this. I know you have Gate Guardian. Fortunately, oh, Fissure. Right. That's not Gate Guardian! Just attack press fun. What could possibly go yeah. wrong? I'm what? going to call him. He can't actually attack over press fun. <laughs> Correct. Cool. My spirit of the harp goes away. Oh yeah, and it's fairy. Not a spellcaster. I'm going to. Hmm. I still was so upset after that misplay I I made and still 2, 000, won. <laughs> 2850. No, 2550. My 25, bad. 2550, yep. Hmm. That'd be 350 damage. Right, I'm going to set a card in battle. 350 damage. Your turn. I you have good, bro? news for you. No. I flip summon Hane Hane. I flip summon Magician of Faith, adding a Dark Hole to hand. Oh. I'm going to Are normal gonna summon it? Dream Clown. <laughs> Battle phase. Oh, no. <laughs> Was it going to be Hane Hane lethal, bro? I believe so. Oh, right. <laughs> Let's go. Just have every single lethal be Hane Hane lethal. Yeah, man. Yes, yes. I mean, you've done it so far. <laughs> that seems to be like your signature. You just gotta, you, you just gotta run Hane Hane through every pack we play, bro. Just I so you can do that. that. No, do it. <laughs> Sorry, sir, but this is a formal request. Not a demand. I can't demand any of it, but it's a request. <laughs> Mm. Right back at you. I'll do it again. Uh, mm. we're gonna put the old one back in hand. Okay. We're going to normal. Normal summon Witch's Apprentice. Mm, Battle, this is an 1850 Crass Clown. 
um, I'm going to ask you to add which is apprentice back to hand. Mm hmm. No. I normal summon. Castle of Dark Illusions. Hmm. I activate Sword of the Deep Seated. Stop! 20 attack. You are a nuisance! You are a menace! Okay, yeah. So. Ah! 70. You're a menace! 70 <laughs> and. Stand by me. What? 1420, correct? That is 1420, correct. You what the live. heck, Monster man? Reborn Crash Club. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna summon the, the witch mm -hmm. in the front of the oh. oh, tribute summon. Tribute set. Ah. We witches or witches apprentice affects you as well. Oh, yeah. does it? Castle of Dark Illusions yeah. is a dark type. Oh, it is. And it's not yours specifically. Could quite literally be any card. Not any card. It's probably not Mystic Mind. I'm going no, no, to. It's definitely Mystic Mind. Look at it. <laughs> I'm going to normal summon Sandgan. Battle phase. It's also probably not yeah, Necro yeah. Valley. Uh, take 510. Yeah, <laughs> Stop with these numbers, man! <laughs> he started it. Mm, there is no he card started it. <laughs> oh my god, dude. I don't like your life points. They're not appealing to look at. <laughs> That's a shame. You're a shame. Main phase two. I'm going to end my turn. That's a good thing to do in main phase two. I'm gonna normal summon Sangan. Interesting. I'm gonna crash the Sangans. We both get a Sangan search. Off of mine, I'm going to add a quite legendary monster. Known as Time Wizard. Oh my god, you got Time Wizard. I'm going to add to my hand a not so legendary card. Hane Hane. Oh my god, you got Hane Hane. And then I pass. Oh my god, you got pass. <laughs> I'm going to. Hmm. He's gonna Hane Hane your Time Wizard. Watch out. I'm going to tribute summon Curse of Dragon. Mm. I am going yum. to solemn judgment that. Ooh, not yeah. so yum. Uh, What's on, half of on. that? <laughs> <laughs> 44... Uh, 3,915. That's what I said. Oh, wait. 65, yeah. My bad. I yeah. Math, apparently. Dang. That's a really weird number. It is yes, it horrid. Is. It is actually just the worst thing ever. <laughs> you started. It's turn. even worse than ending in 30 is ending in a, a 5. Yeah. <laughs> How do you have a digit in the last number? Which reaper to attack? Activate Yami. All right. So that is 2080, correct? Uh Yeah, 2080. And then one twelve twelve fifty fifty. Pass it on back to you. Your turn, Duelist. I'm going to set a card. It's time. To da -da 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 Stand by me. Now. One of these things would be really funny that I could do. Time Wizard and Risk It All? Yeah, because that's definitely Hane Hane you just set. What? No. Cards. Yeah, but he knows you have a Hane Hane in him. I know, I added it with Sandgan. So obviously that's what you set. That is not necessarily the case. There are other cards that do similar functions. Yeah, but you're bad, so it's a Hane Hane. Is Hane Hane Earth or Dark? Uh, dark. yeah. I will attack with Witch's Apprentice. I I'm spinning Reaper. And he still gets the dude. More damage than Reaper had. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fight. Fight 20. 
and some more. I mean, hey, at least his life points end with a zero. I hate this so much. I normal summon Aquamidor. It is currently a 14. Okay, you equip it with sword and sword, I assume. <laughs> I only have to the two of those so in my deck. So it's 22. Correct. No. It's a spellcaster. It's a spellcaster. Oh, it's a spellcaster, 24. Enter battle phase. I'm going to attack over your Witch's Apprentice. Okay, so my guy is 1250. So I take 1150 here. Correct. End of turn. Simply don't out my board. Ah, the see. time wizard! I tail Red eyes but dragon! And top you what? The no, one time you don't say heads. You've always said heads. So I take uh half the total attack of them. Half total attack. While they had on field, so they had while they were on field, plus the two hundred from each of them. So twenty three, eleven fifty again. Ah, it would seem you're and dead. Lose. Well, that's wait, wait, that. Wait, wait, wait. It was my only possible out. Yeah, you had to take a gamble. There was a 50-50 chance. If only I'd actually said heads this time. I'm like, you know, you did every time. <laughs> hey, one of the Jirai Gumos was tails, so... <laughs> Alright. Hey, that's my line. No, no. should have gone with Yeah, Rock. let's speak. go. I think I go first here. Clearly. All and by right. that, I mean second. Okay, I'm going to set pass. pass. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. O'Reilly's O'Reilly. auto parts. Auto parts. Yow! Did, did something hurt? What happened? I'm going to flip summon Hane Hane. You are a disgrace of a human being. I'm then going to... Yes, I will set a card. Your turn. Well, I'm gonna dark hole. <laughs> no, that was my other honey, honey. And then I'm gonna normal summon my big eye mm. and equip him with dark energy. See, Attack directly for fifteen hundred. Did y'all just not get the sword of deep seated? I did. It's in my deck. Oh. Where in my Let's deck? See. That's that's for me to know, or that's for. No one to know and for us to find out. So, there's actually a better play here. But you see, I'm a violent person. Don't. Don't. Wait. That's... Yeah, that's 14. Don't. Uh, dang it. I've made a mistake. That was 1420. That's 15. Yeah. He tried, but he failed. Aww. <laughs> you see, sometimes trying to you see, people of doesn't greed. work. <laughs> you know, like I tried to do to Bennett. Monster Reborn. Your Hane Hane. Okay. Tribute Summon. The Legendary Blue Eyes White Dragon! Okay. Let's go! Back over him. He's at 1420, so you take 1580. Now, do you have a monster in hand? Yes. Dang. Normal summon. Mm -hmm. Attack. Dang. Attack. And Paralyzing. oh my lordy loop. I'm then going to Sir Set a card. Sir Cease! I'm gonna two pronged attack to destroy your face down monster. Okay. Normal summon Jirai Gumo. Battle All face, right. attack. I'm calling heads! It's always shreds. Woo! Mm, unfortunate for me. End turn. I'm going to activate Pot of Greed, allowing me to draw Ah, the one cards. in his deck. 
I would hope it's the one in his deck. I am then going to Otherwise, normal cheating. summon seven colored fish and eighteen hundred attack normal, and do the and attach to it the sword of deep seated. That's twenty. Yeah, twenty three. Battle phase. I won't let you deal one hundred damage. I end my turn. Going to set a card. Battle phase. Attempt with 20. Sand yeah. Get your search. I'm going to be honest, you probably don't want to put my uh, webcam. Oh, Lord, what'd you break? No, I'm eating uh, candy, I just realized. You disgusting I, animal. I keep, look I keep looking at my Guess we'll screen. have your little grenade dinosaur thing. In the duck. We're going to grab yeah. Karibo. Oh, interesting. Karibo. He's a good defense. He's just a little guy. He is just a little guy. It's still your turn, by the way. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm going to end. Apple decided. Okay. I lose my crass clown. Correct. My mic was muted. Good. Going to normal summon Jirai Guma. I'm gonna I'm gonna trap hole. Interesting. Battle phase. Yeah. Need to destroy my masked sorcerer. Hmm. It's a good card. Only it had more than 900 attack. It's good with uh, equip spells like yeah. the deep speed. Oh, yeah, the uh, spellcaster centric. Oh, this is very unfortunate for you. Mm. What, you don't want me to discard three cards? Yeah, you're not discarding any cards for well. Alright, so here we are at the wheel. Uh, Steven, you can go ahead and go first. Are you wanting to spin? I am going to start with a spin. And you got what? Two spins? Total? You want me to spin it and me? I do. 
All right. That well, will you see if you want to go again after this one? And our oh, an ultra rare card of your Ooh, choice from this pack. I, I will be spinning again. That is a wonderful result. You are uh -huh. recording, correct? Yeah. All right. Oh. I don't oh. care which one prize of those pick. it is. It's wonderful either prize pick. I am happy seeing that. Right. And I think I will take my one spin from when I uh, beat Bennett because I mean all these early packs you want to get what you can out of. These early packs have a lot of very powerful <laughs> spell cards. That yeah. Are important to have as many as you can. I don't care which one. Cool. Hey, Guess we get a prize pick again. again. That's two in a row. <laughs> That's only ten percent chance, and it's one of the best things on there. Yeah, I mean, love to see it. I'd prefer a gift card if it was like money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll 